Hello tubers, me again. I just wanted to share with you something that I just found this morning and big shout out, big thanks to uh, Steve's Small Engine Saloon. If you don't know his channel, you need to check it out. Um, he has a different approach to stuff and he drinks beer and what's not to like? Small engines and beer. So anyways, um, it was one of those type deals where uh, YouTube sends you, you know, a suggestion on something that you would like. And I have a video, and I'm probably going to put it down here in the comments of a video that I had made that said, like, oh, the beautiful thing about um, aftermarket carburetors is that you can adjust them. And... Steve Small Engine Saloon just showed me, also fed me a nice good helping of crow, um, that you can adjust these block style uh, barrel carburetors. And I was always kind of a skeptic and I'm like, nah, 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 whatever. So the, if you're not familiar, barrel type, I'm gonna do the zoom in, but the only thing you need for, for this job is a small screwdriver I'll do the zoom in here in a second. Uh, and a torch or a Bic lighter. I use map gas. So we're gonna go to macro zoom and I'm gonna show you what I learned. And we're either gonna prove or disprove what Uncle Steve over there at a small engine saloon has shared with us. So this is in pretty close. We got different ones. That right there has got uh, a plug in it so that you cannot make uh, adjustments. That would be on the high speed. And if I had the barrel uh, still sitting in here that you can take the plug out on the, on the top. And we're gonna get back to that in a second. Here, going through the hoard, here is another one of those barrel types and it's right straight down in here. Come on, let's get some good light going. There, now you can, you can see that right down in there. That also has a plug in it. And so I've been reading from other guys and stuff that they take a drill or they do whatever, you know what? And in my video that will be down below, will say, I was like, nah, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, well, you know what? I learned something. So, and then supposedly there's another plug in there so we're just gonna try it we're just gonna like you know okay great information from you know some of these guys and uh trust but verify okay so all we're gonna do is like we're gonna take this screwdriver boom right there and i'm gonna follow the directions per steve over at uh steve small engine saloons and we're gonna do what he said so we're gonna heat this up until it gets just glowing red on the tip. See it? So there's like that. We'll try it out first on the dummy one. And he says, make sure that you're in the picture. I'm gonna turn it sideways. You gotta take and stick this in there. And you're just gonna leave it for like 30 seconds. Can you see? Okay. You got this hot, that red hot screwdriver stuck in there. We're going to leave it for like 30 seconds and that the plastic is going to stick to the end of that screwdriver and then we'll be able to make an adjustment. So five, four, three, two, one. There's 30 seconds. All right, let's try screwing it out and turning backwards and He's exactly right. There's the plug. It fell right off. Ouch. And there's the adjustment screw. So it works. Man, eating crow. Not bad. Okay, so, well, you know what? Just for, we're on a roll here. <laughs> so let's try it over here on this one. It's not as... I don't have as much 
good light on it but we're all we're looking for is to see if the plug is going to come out on the end of this here screwdriver so once again this is for the high speed jet i'm gonna whoop, wait a minute i got my lock on heating up the screwdriver Oops. looking for it to glow red there we go, I got a little color on it. Hope there's no gas left in this carburetor. Okay, I just gotta take it in here. Stick it down in there. I'm gonna wait the 30 seconds. You can see some smoke coming up out of there, you guys. All right, and Couple more seconds. Oh, here's a side view. Screwdriver sticking in there all by itself. So, all right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna try twisting it, twisting it, twisting it. Come on, baby. I don't know if it's threaded in there or not, but oh, it got it halfway out. Let's try it again. Get it glowing red. Maybe I wasn't fast enough with it. Okay. There you go. Glowing red. Quit the clamoring and just stick it in there. It's in there. You gotta wait the 30 seconds. I try to shortcut this and it might not work. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Like all those times I was thinking like my only option was, cause I, I really, honestly, I really wasn't gonna take and try to stick a drill in there or do anything like that. And I've always just had very good luck with the aftermarket. So either one is a good option for me and but the beauty of amazon you can get your stuff in like two days so i'm just time filling here guys all right let's see if that let's see if that did it try spinning it spinning it come on out of there baby there it is again absolutely correct now let's try just because we're here and I've already cannibalized these I want to see about pulling out that there's also supposed to be a low speed and like unless you and this is a beautiful thing thank you Steve this is like because unless you're looking for this you don't even know that this stuff is in here okay so like we're gonna heat this up one more time and we're gonna take and try to pull the the low speed out of uh, this ba this barrel carb. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Hopefully my phone won't kick off. Otherwise I'll be piece and pieces together. That's amazing to me, you guys. I'm telling you. Okay, it's glowing red. You're gonna stick it down in here. Gotta go a little faster. And we just gotta, whoops, just gotta endure the 30 seconds. Yeah, that's a, well, that plastic sticks right to that screwdriver, so it worked out perfect, exactly like he said. Maybe I'll put a link to his video too, because you get to see him. I think he's drink, drinking a honey. Honey brown ale or a honey nut ale, something like that. Great channel. I learned a lot of stuff from him. So thanks for all that, Steve. Appreciate it. He's a staple on YouTube for small engines, you guys. You know, like much like uh, Donnie Boy, Uncle Bruce, Dave Ackerman, Boo, all these guys. Look, oh my God. Okay, 100% truth.
100% accurate. I'm eating crow, but um, I'm actually thankful. I'm very thankful. So, okay, guys, that's it. Trust but verify. It absolutely works. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for all my viewers. That's it. I'm smarter now. I'm done. I'm out.